have the technology to make this whole kind of thing go away. Unless we... Wasp gave us the Old West as Quill and Drax's last known location. Let's catch up to them and start looking for that... whatever it was called. A negative ion emitter. And, uh, are we just acting like strolling down from Manhattan to the Old West is just a normal thing we do now? I am Groot. Anyone else feel like making a difference? <laughs> sure are keeping us busy. Can you take care of the incident near you? If some kind superhero could see their way to save you, I thought that would be great. Apparently there's some kind of exhibition happening up in that ruined building. <laughs> Man. Might be a few stars shy of the galaxy, but I have to admit, this is quite a view. I am Groot. What should I call my name? I think I saw a saloon over there. Let's head over and ask around. I am Groot. Superhero. Nexus destroyed by Kang. Helped by the Avengers, my sources tell me. Sure, they didn't know they were helping Kang, but that's not the point, people. Because the heroes beat the guardian of the Nexus man thing, Kang was able to blast it into fragments, enabling him to bring Chronopolis into a single time zone. That's good news and bad news. The good news is we can now get out of Manhattan and see if the rest of Chronopolis has a decent golf course. The bad news is now every creep in Chronopolis can get into our city and slug it out with each other to see who's worthy of facing Kang. Okay, Avengers, you broke it, so what are you gonna do to fix it? Hmm. Seems they've sent a team to the Old West to secure a power source to help boost a strange beyond Chronopolis signal of some kind. Snap! We ain't playing no snap. You low down, dirty cheating swine. <laughs> now just hold on a minute. Gamora! Give me your scanner. You two are supposed to be taking readings. Oh, yeah. I totally was. But then Drax found this place, and it had music and... And tacos. <sighs> we have to find a negative ion emitter. Your scanner should now pick it up. <sighs> now get out there and start searching. How does it work? See that blinky light? If it don't flash, you don't have it. If it does... Your blinky light lies. I do not have it. Outlaws! <laughs> what? Is that? That, my fuzzy friend, is our power source. I am Modoc, the ultimate human machine interface, and more importantly, the law! Well, not in my town. Isn't that? Don't ask. This place gets weirder by the day. Bring it! Well, looky here. Got us some outlaws. 50,000 big ones to the first cowboy to put these criminals in chains! <laughs> Cowboys? I do not see any half-human bovine creatures. Huh. Guess looking for the emitter will have to wait. Excuse me, good folks, but did I just hear that raccoon talk? Oh, why am I always singled out? There's two aliens here as well, you know. Don't mind him. He's having a rough day. Oh, my apologies.
Ah, another valuable item. I'm beginning to see why the Collector enjoys his work. Electric Gizmo looks right up my street.
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come to Papa. As much as I hate to admit it, Modoc's force field is pretty strong. You're right. I reckon we'll need something special to take him out. I believe we have found something. Yeah, looks that way. Think that sword of yours can help us out, Gamora? Partners. But we can't get close to him unless... What's that on the balcony above him? What happened to Fancy Captain America? Eh, who cares? Probably mopping up the last bad guys. Let's find that a minute. Great. Okay, you guys keep searching. I'll go rescue the log. Agreed. We'll rendezvous back at the mansion. Arizona Annie, we got us some villains to catch. We sure do, Kid Colt. <clears throat> Mind if I tag along? They just kidnapped my raccoon and his houseplant. Why, sure, sugar. If y'all don't mind sharing. Mine? Why, it would be my pleasure, ma'am. Hold tight, sugar. Ah! Oh, 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 no! Ah! This'll be my first train journey in a little while. Ah, you more of a stagecoach man, huh? Uh, something like that. Ah, dang it! 
We'll need to find another way around. Looks that way. Uh, sorry. I didn't catch your name before. It's Cope. Kid Cope. Folks know me as something of an outlaw. What? The Kid Cope? Wow. I've read so many stories about you, man. You know, I'm something of a legendary outlaw myself. They call me Star-Lord. Uh, sorry? Who? Oh. Well, that figures. Huh? One of those things again? Not exactly my specialty. Let's get across. Exactly looks safe. Careful you don't fall into those burning rings of fire, Star Lord. I don't think I want to do that again. It's crazy. What are you talking about? Now, stand back while I lasso this doohick. <laughs> this is the end of a lot. For you, kid cult. Spunny, Corbett. Cause I reckon I'm about to stop you in your tracks. Ooh, train puns. Can I? No. <laughs> Us. <laughs> Thank you kindly, prisoner. 
President Bear? President Bear? Yeah, never mind him for now. Get in that cannon. I got you in the field. Oh, man, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? I don't like how this is going. Quit your yakking and hold still, partner. back. I just wish we'd managed to get that device before we sent it south covered in chickens. You mean this? Rocket, my man! <laughs> if you didn't smell like that, I would so kiss you right now. Okay, so how are we getting back? Aha! Uh -huh. ah, oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, 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 no. How are we holding up out there? We don't have the strength to take the fight to Kang yet. Aye. And Kang Citadel be protected by a mighty barrier. Whoa! <laughs> Heads up! Oh, oh no! We got it! That end is radioactive, you what? genius! Hey, careful, you can't just... Look, big guy. If you couple your dynamic resonators with a sub-neutron accelerator... But that could lead to a lethal magnetic containment failure, which then... Oh, boo-hoo! You worry too much. Voila! One boosted receiver. Oh! Cosmo! Good boy! Are you calling from nowhere? Cosmo, big stuff, sub chrono, distress call. Pretty lady needed help. Pretty lady? Mm -hmm. Doesn't that dog live on that giant head of a dead celestial? <sighs> Something with that much energy could help us take out Kang's defenses. We're outside space and time, and I don't see a door into Chronopolis. No, Hank. But we could make one, using the nexus of all realities. I may have an ancient spell that could unify this energy and tear a hole into Chronopolis. Though I'd need to consult the tomes in my library. Neat idea, Doc. But that Nexus explosion was huge. Any remaining shards would have been scattered all across Chronopolis. It would take months to find them. Aye. Or mere moments, if we had the infinite sight of the mighty Heimdall. Asgard is out there, but it's not of our Thor's time. It looks practically apocalyptic. Then let us hope Heimdall still holds guard over the Bifrost Bridge. Okay. Let's form up two teams and start to turn the tide on Kang. 